Since the isekai anime has become so popular, more and more shows feature some kind of role-playing game system. RPG or role-playing games are a generic and loosely defined term for games in which a person enters a fictional world acting or playing the roles of a narrative. It is a vague term due to the variations that role-playing games have undergone in recent decades. This genre has been combined to create stories that incorporate other variable elements, making it difficult to create an exact definition for these RPG stories. From gaming habits of a character to those who have transferred to the world of a video game, it is for this that I bring you the 7 best role-playing anime that become a reality. Batum. Look, go, you son. Ryota Sakamoto is an adult hikikomori and is also the number one player in the online game Batum, where players compete by blowing each other with hand bombs. One day, Sakamoto wakes up on an island with a green crystal embedded in his hand and no memories to help him. Unlike other RPG animes, this one takes the concept of the game and brings it to life. To get off the island, players must defeat or kill other players and collect crystals if they wish to get out alive. Sakamoto teams up with like-minded people in an attempt to find a way off the island that doesn't involve needless killing while he discovers who is behind this deadly game. Kumo desu ga nanika. Kumo desu ga nanika is about a teenage girl who has been reincarnated in a fantasy world in a big and dangerous dungeon. Unlike most isekai, our protagonist is not a human or demi-human, but rather a small lesser tarotect a weak spider creature with a very high potential if you play your cards right. She is born from an egg with many siblings. Her brothers and sisters are ruthless monsters who have no real intelligence and only an instinct to survive. Cannibalism and fights are common. Kimoko, our main character, has retained her human intelligence and is able to escape the dungeon where she fights for her survival using cunning, skill, and sheer luck. Hack sign. This adventure takes place in the world of an online video game. Tsukasa, a powerful wave master or advanced player, finds himself lost in the cyber world, with no memory of how he got there. More significantly, he cannot log out of the game and is apparently immune to many of the limitations of it. He may be the focus of an impending crisis tied to the legendary Key of Twilight, an item that allows the wielder to transcend many rules and regulations. As he wanders through different kingdoms within the world, Tsukasa forms friendships that will help him along his journey. Tsukasa also encounters a powerful but invisible entity that promises to protect him, and it does. Who knows why Tsukasa is in such a state, and why it doesn't have any way to log out. Isekai Mao Toshokan Takuma Sakamoto is a typical otaku player of the MMORPG Cross Reverie. He has leveled up his characters to the max and revels in his devil character's demonic personality. That he in real world is socially inept and dismissive of normals means little when he's killing it in Cross Reverie. Then, one day, his world changes, literally. He is now really Diablo, a demon lord who possesses great power and lives in a world not far from the game. He has been summoned by a booksome elf named Shira and a cute pantherian named Rem to serve as their familiar as they search his dangerous world. Only their spell failed and now Diablo has two pretty slave girls bound to him by more than just chains. And even though he reached level 90 something in Cross Reverie, this fantasy world he's now lost in hasn't progressed much beyond level 30. He has got level powers in a world of minnows, and he has two cute girls who have to obey his every whim. Now, if only he could do something about that social ineptitude. Death March Karahajimaru. 
勝てる気がしないでで The story follows a video game programmer, Ichiro Suzuki, who has found that his job is getting more and more difficult lately. With a deadline fast approaching for a new game release, Ichiro has been working hard to keep pushing through the night in hopes of getting this game released to the public as soon as possible. Despite problems with his co workers and rapidly increasing lack of sleep, Ichiro continues to do his best and push the release a game he could be proud of. However, Ichiro's life changes one night when he falls asleep in the office. One moment he remembers himself sleeping under the computer, and the next he is in a place that he seems deserted and barren. This is where Death March Kara Hajimaru Isekai Kyoso Kyoku really starts his story. Ichiro quickly learns that he has been transported to another world. Although he remains adamant that he was a dream for several episodes and begins to find a new way to understand his situation. Log Horizon Log Horizon follows the story of a typical isekai RPG where the protagonist is sucked into the video game. And it is after the recent update of the MMORPG Elder Tale, players cannot log out, including our protagonist Shiroe. This master strategist is more sensible than most, as he immediately sets out to understand the limitations of this new situation. During this time, Shiroe works to gather friends and establish a system to help the economy, learn the value of NPCs, and create a stable environment until a way to return home is secured. In this new world, Shiroe works to create a place that people can call home, even if it's just a substitute for the time being. Overlord the end of the life of an MMO can be a sad event for those who spent years living in that world. To outsiders, it's just another game they've never heard of. For gamers, for those who have formed lasting friendships and created countless memories, it can be hard to let go. For Momonga, it's a time of heartbreak as the MMO Yggdrasil reaches the end of its life, surpassed by newer, bigger games. Once home to powerful guild, the great tomb of Nazarick has only NPCs, artifacts, and mementos to fill its vast caverns. He sits in the guild hall, alone, his last guildmate already logged out. As the timer counts down to midnight which marks the final lockdown, he falls asleep. When he wakes up some time later, he is still online. Not only that, it becomes apparent that he has become his character, an all-powerful necromancer, and that the NPCs have come to life around him. They follow the initial character profiles of him, yes, but they're as real as anyone else now. He takes the name of the guild, Ein's Oal Gaon, and decrees that his goal in this new life is to take his guild to greater heights and conquer the world of Victor Seal. <laughs> 